Hi there, it's Hannah, and I'm going to talk to you today about our four macromolecules kits. These four kits create a comprehensive unit on macromolecules, from our carbohydrates, to our lipids, to our nucleotides, and finally, our proteins kits, you get a chance to investigate the structure and function of all four types of macromolecules. This is a really good chance to talk about polymer synthesis, and you can break it down into the individual units of polymers and then how they synthesize together to form these macromolecules. The carbohydrates kit is perfect to discuss the glucose monomer and how these simple sugars or monosaccharides come together to form a variety of different types of carbohydrates. Linear or slightly branched starches, you can form sort of a block-like cellulose, or even do a glycogen that is this multi-branched macromolecule. And then with that, we also get a chance to talk about the role that enzymes play with carbohydrates in terms of how the body breaks them down and how they are formed. So included in this kit, we have different enzymes. So we have a debranching enzyme, which is for the way the body breaks down and removes the different pieces from the carbohydrates as well as a branching enzyme, which can connect to the triangle piece on one of these and actually carry over to connect at a branching site. So this is a good chance to talk about the interaction between enzymes and carbohydrates, as well as the different roles that carbohydrates play in our lives. With the lipids kit, you get a chance to build either one longer or two smaller different lipids. Start by creating the head group. To do that, simply snap the ball joints onto each other. To create a phospholipid, add the PO3 positive group to the top of the third one. When snapping together the ball joints, it's good to have one finger on either side of the ball joint to help make sure that the piece doesn't break. Then you can go down and start forming your hydrocarbon chains. So with this, you get a chance to talk about both saturated and unsaturated fatty acids and what impact that has on how the body reacts to them. So with this one, each of the connection pieces of the hydrocarbon chains and these head group areas are identified with the different molecules that make it up. So for instance, on the hydrocarbon chains for the saturated fatty acids, we have a single carbon with two hydrogens, so the CH2 unit, whereas if it's an unsaturated fatty acid, it only has a single hydrogen unit. And with that, you can then talk about the double bond that happens and why it forms a kink in the leg. So with the phospholipids, this is a really good chance to integrate in with our cell membrane kit. With our nucleotides kit, you get a chance to build both DNA and RNA and look at the molecular differences between the two. And a really good chance to talk about the assembly from single nucleotide into nucleic acid and then the breakdown from nucleic acid back into individual nucleotides. With this, you can tie it back into different times this happens, such as during DNA replication, during cell division, or during protein synthesis. Which leads me to our final kit, the Macromolecules Proteins Kit. And this one is actually made up of a series of amino acid beads. These pair with a chenille stem and some regular e-beads to form a foldable protein. The peptide bonds help the folding happen better, but it's important to make sure your students realize that the peptide bonds are not its own molecule, but simply a way to demonstrate the bond between the amino acids. So with this kit, we're really focused on the function of the proteins and how, if you have a mutation, how it might change the function of the protein. So with that, you're looking at protein folding, the shape it forms, and what impact that has later down the line on the body. Each bead includes the letter for which amino acid it is, and some of them include additional features, such as with the cysteines, one has a ball and one has a socket so that you can demonstrate the strong covalent disulfide bonds. Then with the positive and negatively charged amino acids, you get a chance to demonstrate the ionic interactions between the two of them by using the pegs and rings built into the models. Once you've slid them all on, you can then assemble it in such a way that represents the way the different amino acids interact. So for the ionic bonds, they'll come together. The proline will form a kink because it comes in one side and out the adjacent side instead of out of the opposite. And the cysteines will link up together. So that's a good reminder that if you are building an amino acid chain with multiple cysteines to make sure you do one ball and one socket and even numbers, otherwise it won't link the way it's supposed to. So whichever one of these kits you're using, whether you're talking about carbohydrates, lipids, nucleotides, or proteins, 
We really hope you enjoy exploring the structure and function of these different polymers and getting a chance to explore polymer synthesis and looking at the molecular breakdown of each of these and how they're formed, as well as the impact they have on our lives. Thanks for listening and have a great day.